Hello, welcome back to another lap guide video. My name's Bart and today we're doing another one in the FIA 4 car and we're at Road America. Let's get to the hot lap. Alright, so heading down the main straight, or straightaway as they call it, uh, in Road America. Uh, it's the first corner, really fun track this one. Bit different in an underpowered car like this F4. So, first corner, uh, fifth gear, quick right hander. Main thing with this corner, well, first, braking reference, you've got uh, these sets of cones on the left hand side. You definitely want to be braking after this one, and you definitely want to be braking before this one. Those two things I can promise you. So yeah, just breaking uh, like say five, five, ten meters after this uh, second last set of cones here. But very good to judge your uh, distance here with these references. This is a quick corner you want to be in early on. I'm pretty consistent with this. Uh, I think in general on iRacing, this curb helps rotate cars. I like to go on it early, especially in something like the F4 car, where if you're on throttle, you really want to be on a curb to help turn the car. So. Now you can see I go onto the inside curb, carry as much speed as possible up to that point. Um, now we're going to very aggressively get onto that throttle. And that will force the car out to the left-hand side. You can use all this curb. Obviously, it's just tricky to get back before this uh, end of the curb here where the gravel is. So watch out for that. So holding fifth gear, uh, down to third now. I found with this corner, you can push it harder in the entry than I do here and get away with it. I just think uh, it, it becomes very on edge on the exit and it really hurts the exit a lot in general for lap time. So for lap time's sake, I'd recommend being a little bit on the early side. Uh, breaking around, you've got this beautiful little dash of white paint they put here as a, as a mark for us. So breaking just before that, very good reference. Um, where we've got this crack in the road as well uh, here, this line. So breaking down the third gear, uh, fairly quick, uh, reasonably hard break, but with a fast bleed off. Get into this curve early, just where the kind of camera and the grip is on the inside here. As soon as you get towards the inside, you can start picking up the throttle again. Very early throttle pickup. So in fourth gear, should I say? Um, and that'll help. Just you get more speed on the exit. Very much an exit-focused corner. And once again, uh, you can use a lot more of this exit curve, but it's just very tricky in this car to run that wide and make it back without getting off track and without putting too much scrub on the wheel or having a big moment that affects your lap time down the straight, which is why I was saying let's 
get it stopped a little bit earlier and focus on the exit here. So now we're in sixth gear into this uh, left hand hairpin downhill braking zone coming up here. So make sure we use the track limits here that we have on iRacing. As long as you have your left wheels on the uh, curb here, you'll be okay. Um, for track limits, you can see they're just about on the white line there. So don't have your car in line with the white line on the right hand side of the track. Have it pointing out towards those yellow advertising boards just so we can use the track limit and kind of cut back a bit, widen off the entry of the corner. Okay, really hard brake here. You see you're hitting 100% brake pressure pretty much. Braking after the two board, it's basically at the end of this uh, gravel trap on the right when it goes from gravel to tarmac, a runoff area on the right hand side. And you've got that two board and the one board and the curb as well. So plenty of references here. Uh, hit the brake as hard as you can. Stop it really quickly. Maintain that brake pressure being as straight as possible, which is, again, is why you wanted to have that angle. Um, so we're not kind of turning through the corner if we're on the white line. We've got this angle pointing out, braking as efficiently as possible, down to third gear. And then once we reach this point, get it slowed down. Then you can use that kind of wide exit you've created by the angle you had on the entry. So we open up the exit. Early throttle pick up once we go on the curve. Again, really want to be exit focused here. Get off the curb. There's a little few bumps here that just lose you a few hundredths if you hang on to the curb. So let's get off it early. Focus on our exit up the hill. Into fourth gear. Soft brake here. Down to third gear. Uh, haven't really got much in the way of references. Yeah, I've got the shadow. Once again, probably not a good idea to be using that as a reference as it can move. Um, so yeah, you've got to just kind of take some practice. You have got these uh, barriers on the right, so there is that. I feel so inclined, but for me, I'd just be looking to try and see into the apex and just judge it off practice. Get a good feel of, um, and you've also got the crest as well, the feedback from the wheel. Until what's going on there. So braking slightly on the early side, you have to kind of modulate the brake over this crest. You can't be super aggressive on brake pressure because the, the wheel's kind of getting in the air and moving around a bit. Car's not settled. Um, wait a moment before you turn. If you turn too early here, kind of go over the bumps and you might lose the rear or you might understeer um, and slide the tyre. So kind of wait till the car's settled before you start to turn in. So just keep straight over the bumps. Get the throttle nice and early here in third gear. Force the car out to the right hand side. You can get away with more curve there 100%. Once again, when we have less scrub in this car, there is a bit of a reward for that. We're not um, leaning on the fronts as much. Get over to the left nice and early. Prepare the car. Should be easily flat here. Use the inside curve just to help hook the car around a little bit. Up into fifth gear. Now it's this downhill left hand, quite a fun corner. Uh, third gear. Braking is pretty much at this white line. Perfect reference for us. Once again, a corner where I feel like you can brake later in this car, but I don't think the reward's there. Let's roll lots of speed through this apex. Let's get a really early throttle pickup for um, just to carry into the next section, which is quite important. Um, Commit quite early to the inside. Get into this uh, little cambered groove where this uh, where the curve goes down. In third, get early throttle pickup. Run the car out to the edge here. Get over to the left hand side. I feel like this is one where people sometimes struggle. Don't be lazy. Let's get to the left hand side. Get over to this uh, service road here on the right, on the left hand side of the track. Sorry, so we can start turning right into the corner. Very gradual turn in here, feel through the wheel, especially if you're a direct drive wheel, you'll have very good feedback of whether or not you're straining the front tires. You can be more aggressive, but you will just scrub the fronts and eventually it'll slide and overheat the front tires or just lose grip or cost you time. So um, it should be flat. Don't want to meet the inside white line too early. You want to be progressive with how we turn the car into this corner. If you look at my steering, it's fairly constant in the bottom left, trying not to put too much load into it. Because um, the front tyres struggle a lot when we're on throttle and steering in this car. Um, so it's important, like I said, not to overload the tyres here. Just lift when we feel that the uh, the, the car is going to slide just so we can keep the car positioned tight to the inside white line. And we should pick up the throttle at this point at the corner as well. You kind of have a crest. That's You lift just before that. And as you go start going back down the hill, that's when you need to pick up the throttle. The car should hook up to the inside white line. It should be able to kind of hold it round now hold the round all the way through this right-hand corner and we'll be forced out to the edge of the track here on the left-hand side. It shouldn't feel like you're, you're being forced out with a ton of lock-on like this, you know? That's not what we want to be doing. It should be forced out, um, kind of on the limit of putting too much load into the car and once you do that, it'll really kill the momentum down the straight, um, if that makes sense. So, 
in six gear, easily flatten this car. All I'd say is just make sure you use the track on the entry. Don't need to use the inside curb. Just get to the white line. Smooth on the wheel. Don't use the exit curb. Straight line. Again, to reduce the scrub we have on the tyre. Let it run out a little bit to the right-hand side so we're not in line with the white line here, but rather when the white line is straight before the next braking zone. Okay. Left-hand side. Now we've got this three-board, which is going to be our reference for braking. Braking at the three-board just after uh, as well and really heavy brake here really aggressive brake uh, try to be really efficient in a straight line before you turn in it's kind of got two phases this braking zone this first bit we're going to be really efficient i'm uh, down a third gear and then the second phase where you're bleeding out and rolling speed up the hill that's what makes such a tricky corner is because you've got this heavy braking zone you're coming at a high speed quite a tight exit easy to over push and run off here but you've also got to roll a lot of speed into this uphill corner um so very unique corner. Oh, sorry, fourth gear for this corner. Um, once again, once you get the inside curb, that's your cue to pick up throttle. The car should rotate pretty well then. Use pretty much all the exit curb um, as much as you can while still making it back over. Here I was right in the limit of getting an off track. It's very easy to get an off track here by having your left wheels hanging about and pick up some grass when you cut back over to the right-hand side. Uh, then we go to the right. Should be flat up the hill here in the second last corner. Uh, this inside curve helps rotate the car a lot. So if you're on cold tires, uh, you're struggling with understeer a lot, do you try and use this curve. Just don't hit it too early would be my advice. Um, we don't need to use that exit curve. It's pretty nasty, the drop down on the right of it. So try to avoid it. Um, get back over to the left-hand side. Once again, really tricky. You have to work really hard here to try and um, get the car straight-ish. You're never going to get really straight here because it's always turning in this braking zone on the entry. Um, but as straight as we can possibly get it. Braking references before this two board you can see on the left hand side here, got another white line in front of us, which is very useful. Braking just before that. Down to fourth gear, trying to roll as much speed as possible and a very aggressive throttle pick up here. We don't want to induce any understeer by being slow to full throttle. Pick it up very aggressively and the car should grip at the speed, especially on that inside curb. Be forced out, use all the exit curb, smooth on the wheel, and then you just keep it flat, run up the hill. Is the end of your lap at Road America. So that takes us to the end of the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And you can also check out the Coach Dave Academy Discord in the YouTube video description. I've been Bart, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.